Hey guys, how we doing? Um, as you can see from the title of this video, it's not like a normal video. Um, I'm just doing a kind of review on, uh, unboxing and review on a tool that you'll definitely need being a heating engineer. So, this is the tool or product. It's a thermal imaging camera from Hick Micro. It's the E1L model. Um, my, I've, I've been using this for the past couple of weeks uh, just to just to get a feel of it because I don't want to obviously give a, a review um, on something that isn't good, for example. Uh, so I wanted to make sure, I wanted to test it out um, and then work through any bugs if there were any. Um, but yeah, so this is the this is the box on the front. There's bit of literature um, so it's a 160 by 120 resolution uh, the start to, it starts in less than eight seconds um, from when you hold the power button to being able to use it uh, the runtime is longer than eight hours and I mean I I've been using this like I say for the past couple of weeks and I've charged it twice maybe um, it's just the battery life's brilliant, so and that's what you need. You don't want something that's going to run out in ten minutes. Um, it's IP54 uh, water resistance, two meter drop protection, and appearance scratch prevention. I've just kept the um, the screen protector type thing that comes with it. I've just kept that on. Um, it just gives it a bit of uh, extra layer. <coughs> Sorry extra layer of protection and um, yeah because you don't need to touch the screen it doesn't really make a difference so unboxing it uh, you've got the quick start guide the um, calibration certificate um, and then you remove this piece of uh, foam and then here's the camera uh, it's Really, it feels really nice in the hand. It's got a nice weight to it, so you know that it's not just some cheap rubbish. You know, it's going to be a good product. Um, and then in this box is just the uh, charger and cable. So put that back in there. Right. So moving on to the camera, um, you've got all your warnings and literature on the side uh, with a Hick Micro logo um, and then on the display you've got the power and select button or power and menu button up and down buttons for the menu and then the back button so if we just power this on as you can see it's nice and quick um, and that's me <laughs> Um, but yeah, what we'll do is go into the menu um, and then go through all the different options on there. So this is the obviously the menu. So you've got your picture, uh, which is basically because you can take photos with this. Um, so I think I'd accidentally pressed that, <laughs> but. Um, and then you've got rule, so hot spots and cold spots. If you're if you're looking for those, uh, say like on an underfloor heating system, this is going to be a fun one to say. Uh, emissive, emissivity. Um, so you can have really smooth or slightly rougher. Um, quality, I suppose. Uh, there's the measure range, the palettes, so you can have sort of different colours for what you want. I'll just keep it on that, it's nice and easy. And then the distance that you're going to be measuring something at. So if you're a meter, a meter away, then obviously you. Uh, want to select a meter and then any other you want to change it there's the option for the laser so what you want to do is pull the little trigger on the back 
and then there's your laser and that lines up with the crosshairs on there so then you go down to uh, unit so that's whether you want it in celsius or fahrenheit your time and date auto off and then the about and then the rest are just about the uh, memory cards but yeah so what i'll do is i'll include a couple of clips that i've got from um my other videos on this um so you can kind of see how it works in a in a working condition um because it's no good me just running around the house pointing at things um but yeah so my first impressions of the uh, of the camera are that it's so it feels really nice in your hand. Um, oh, it's got all the information that I need on there. So for like finding pipes in the wall, nice and easy to find them. So you're not you know if you're fitting changing a rad. Um, normally, obviously the rule is that if they go come down in the wall in microbore. Nine times out of ten, they'll go across and then out, but it's finding where that, you know, where the upright bit is. So, um, yeah, it's nearly it saved saved me a lot of time on a job because the other day I was fitting a radiator, and the pipes came down the wall, and I thought that they came down in the middle because in the in the plaster you could see a sort of chase. So I just assumed that that was where the pipes were coming down. I mean, it felt warm when I touched it, so I just thought that. And then I had all my holes marked out, ready to drill. I thought, you know what, I'm just going to double check with the camera. Went over and exactly where the top and bottom hole of my right hand bracket was, that was where the two pipes came down. So that saved me a lot of time and a lot of money on the job. Um, but for just general use, it's so good. Um, you know, if you're balancing radiators or trying to find an airlock, um, then it's just nice and easy. Uh, you know, some things you can't you can't tell with your you just your feel with your touch. Um, you know, if if a rad valve stuck um, and the pipe feels the same as the other one, you you just assume, oh, okay, it's not the valve then, but with that, you can see that the the flow is a lot hotter um, than the than the return, and nine times out of ten, it's just a blocked TRV. So, yeah, brilliant product. Um, again, thank you Hick Micro for sending this out to me. Uh, really, really appreciate it. And I'll I'll add the clips now of um, of, of me work, using it in working conditions. So. Uh, I'll see if I can get a discount code. If I can, then I'll stick it in the description. But you really need to check out these uh, this company and their products. The they also do a um, I think it's called the Mini, um, which plugs into the bottom of your phone, and it's just nice and easy. It's nice and it's only little, so it can fit in your pocket or fit in a um, in your ashtray in your van if your van still has one of them. Um, and then, yeah, it's just, you can plug it into the bottom of your phone. You don't need a big bulky unit. You just stick it in and um, diagnose any issues that you've got from there. So thanks for watching. And um, I hope you find the thermal imaging camera as useful as I did. Um, so yeah, cheers. So on this job, the customer said that they've got no hot water, even though it's on, on their programmer. So turn the heating on. To the to the cylinder as you can see the boil is heating up and the pump spinning um, and then that left hand pipe here is the flow to the cylinder um, as you can see it's not very hot in comparison to the heating which is off so obviously not an easy one just swap out the valve um, but yeah I think I've got a head laying around somewhere so I'll change that so as you can see, I've just turned it so that it's going down the cylinder flow. Um,
and we're we're losing heat, which is a good thing because it means it's pushing water around. So there we go, nice and hot now. And um, yeah, hopefully get some hot water in the in the cylinder before I can get back with a with a replacement valve. There we go. There's the flow to the cylinder and it's getting very nice and hot. So thank you for watching this video. Um, it's one thing with kind of the product reviews and stuff that I get sent. Um, I, I've always been very clear that I'd never um, promote a product that I wouldn't use or isn't very good. Um, so obviously by me promoting this you know that it's good <clears throat> and it's gonna it's gonna serve a purpose so um yeah i mean i've been using it like i say for a few weeks and it's it's just really really good i mean i find that now that i've got one fitting radiators i always always use the camera as soon as i fit a radiator i don't know why um i, I think it's just to to see kind of how it heats up because I um I find that quite quite interesting. So yeah, <clears throat> head down to the link in the description to uh, to get your own, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.